Okay, folks, so in this video, we are going to look at number theory. Okay, so number theory relates to, well, for you guys as first year math students, relates to looking at the different types of numbers that exist. These are usually just, well, numbers are numbers. There's no such thing as types of numbers, but in maths, we have different types of numbers, okay? Um, these different types of numbers are put into groups. The groups are called sets. So when you're dealing with a sum, you'll sometimes, depending on the sum, want to know, well, which set of numbers are we working with? A lot of the time it won't make a difference, but sometimes it will make a difference, okay? And as a result, we'll determine which answer or answers to your question are correct, okay? But don't worry about that. Right now, we just need to focus on the fact that there are different groups of numbers, okay? So the first number set we're going to look at is the natural numbers, okay? So the natural numbers, that a symbol for the set of natural numbers is this funny shaped capital N, okay? With this extra little line, okay? So the set of natural numbers are all whole positive numbers, okay? All whole positive numbers, okay? Now what do you mean with that? Basically, it's the numbers that you learn how to count with, okay? So the first natural number is equal to one, not zero, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on for infinity, okay? And this is the natural numbers, okay? So there's only two types of natural numbers, even numbers and odd numbers, okay? Um, the even numbers are defined as any number which two will divide into evenly, and the odd numbers are numbers which two does not divide into evenly, okay? So that's basically it. Now, if we are illustrating them on a number line, okay? How we would do it is like so. So we would have a number line with an arrow on the right hand side. There's no arrow on the left hand side. There's only an arrow on the right hand side. Okay. And then you just have a little dot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, if I want to illustrate this, the set of natural numbers from one to seven, I put a dot over each number that I want to talk about. So I put a single dot over each, now, no, I didn't put a dot over eight because it was still saying one to seven, okay? So that is how you illustrate, okay? It's a dot because they're, own, they're the whole numbers, okay? This space here between one and two is all of the decimals and fractions, like one and a half, one and a quarter, one and an eighth. But they're not natural numbers because it's only the whole positive numbers, okay? So that's our first one, okay? The next set of numbers that we're going to look at, all right, is our integers. Okay? Now, the symbol for the integers is this funny kind of a Z shape, okay? So, this integers can be defined as all of the whole positive and negative, sorry, and negative numbers. Excuse the handwriting. Okay, so all the positive and negative numbers. How we would illustrate these is on a number line, but we've got two arrows because if it's positive numbers, it's going to be going right, but the negative numbers goes left. You've got your zero in the middle. Okay. Now, if I have the set of integers from, let's say, minus two, minus one, zero, one. Oh, by the way, no, zero is an integer, okay? Two, okay? 
how I would illustrate that is yet again a dot. So minus two, minus one, zero, one, and two. Yet again, we're using dots here, okay, folks, because we only are looking at whole numbers. Okay, so it's very important. We only are looking at whole numbers, okay? Now, some students get confused by this idea of that positive and negative number line. So, it might be easier for you to think of it like this, vertical number line, like what you'd see on a thermometer. Because we're all used to the idea of, oh yeah, we go into minus numbers, you know? When it's freezing, you're into sub-zero, okay? So if I said, if it's really, really cold and it's not outside and like it's minus three degrees Celsius, you're like, okay, that's fine, it's below zero, okay? That's the same thing, okay? So this would be the same as this, so it'll be, So if you want to illustrate your number lines like this vertically, I don't care, do that, okay? If it makes it easier for you to wrap your head around it, then you do that, okay? Same thing though, you can just barely see in the frame. What's important is we have an arrow on either end, arrow on either end, because it's the number line is continuing on to infinity. In our first example, there's no arrow at this end because the number line doesn't go this way, it starts at one and continues on forever. But for these number lines, it continues on forever into minuses or into positives. Into minuses or into positives, okay? So just to be aware of that, okay? Now the last type of number I want to talk about in this video um, for today is the real numbers, okay? So... Okay? So our real numbers and you might say sir is there such a thing as an imaginary number yes there is okay but you don't need to worry about them until you get into the evening sir okay so the real numbers it's a capital or okay a funny looking capital or that's the symbol for the real numbers so when you're doing a sum if you see this symbol here and it'd be in the top of the question like you've got your your line of question and um and um if you see this that means that all of the numbers in your answers will be real numbers if it was the z all your numbers are integers so they're going to be all whole numbers and they're going to be positive or negative and if it was the n their natural numbers means that all your answers can be only positive numbers if you got a minus number or a half or a fraction you've made a mistake okay so the real numbers are all positive and negative numbers. So you're like, oh, but sir, that's what the integers are. It's like, no, if we look back, the integers are all whole positive and negative numbers, whole numbers. I've just said the real numbers are all positive and negative numbers. What's the difference? The difference is it includes all your fractions and all your decimals. So if I want to draw a number line of this, okay, zero in the middle, okay. So, let's say we had the set of real numbers from, let's say, from minus 3 all the way to, I'm kind of mixing up my notation here, but so forgive me, to 1, okay? So, minus 3 to 1. How we'd actually write this is like this. But you needn't worry about this right now. I'll be coming back to this in another video, but this is show that's not the correct proper way, this is the correct proper way, mathematical way. But we're just he's all on to me, okay? So the all of them is going from minus three to one. So how you do that is now remember real numbers is fractions. So it's not just minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one. It's minus two and a half, minus one and a quarter, a third, okay? Zero point nine 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 for infinity. 
it's all of the fractions and decimals that fill up the space between the whole numbers as well. So how we do it is you do a heavy line. Okay? And that's telling me it's everything from there to there. Okay? Including all the fractions and the decimals. But what if I said, right, I want to go from the number minus 3 all the way to 1, but not include minus 3. How would I show that in a number line? Okay? Now, sometimes students do this, which is wrong. I'm demonstrating it to show this is a mistake that students will make. They'll go, okay, I'm just going to draw my number line from here. And I'm not actually going to go over the minus 3. That's wrong. Because anything from minus 3 to 1, but not including minus 3, includes minus 2.9, minus 2.99, minus 2.999, and so on for infinity. I'm basically going all the way up to the number minus 3, but I never actually reach it. So I'm actually leaving out technically millions and millions of, of tiny decimals with this gap here. So what you do is you do your number line, but you draw an open circle over the number you don't want to include. So in this example, going from minus 3 to 1, it was a heavy bowl line going from the minus 3 to the 1. In this example, we put an open circle over the minus 3 to show we're going all the way from 1 up to minus 3, but we do not include minus 3. Okay, so there we go, folks. This is just a simple explanation of how these things work. I hope they make sense. And um, keep up the good work. If you're having any questions, email me. You know where I am. And I'll talk to you all soon. Okay, bye.